Welcome to the CSJG installation video. This video will instruct you on installing the cold shrinkable splice for single core polymeric insulated XLPE-EPR cables up to 35 kV for jacketed concentric neutral JCN cable. This video is for demonstration purposes only. Please refer to the product installation instructions included in your kit for exact dimensions and measurements to use. Prepare cables. Refer to the instruction guide for pre-preparation of the cables. Place splice body over cable. Slide the splice body over the cable end so that the release strip of the spiral holdout points toward the cable end. Wire brush conductors. Using a wire brush dedicated for use on aluminum or copper conductors, thoroughly clean the bare surface strands of the conductor end. Install shear bolt connector. Insert conductors so that the insulation butts up with the end of the connector. Hand tighten the shear bolts so that the connector stays in place. Verify the dimensions between end of lug and semicon cutbacks. Refer to your installation instructions for the correct failsafe dimensions. For this next procedure, you can use an impact driver or socket wrench. For the purpose of this video, we will use an impact driver. Tighten bolts until the bolts shear off. File smooth any remaining part of the shear bolt that remains higher than the connector. Refer to the installation instructions included with connector for more detail. Clean and degrease the connector area using approved solvent wipe. Install marking tape. Install several turns of marking tape onto the cable semicon from the center of the connector. This will be a guide for installing the splice body. The tape should be installed on the same side where the splice body is parked. Lubrication. Make sure the connector area is degreased and cleaned. With a gloved hand, lubricate the cable insulation up to the semicon cutback and tape mark with the supplied DCC or discharge control compound. Be sure to use the extra DCC to form a bead around the semicon cutbacks as shown. Notice, use all of the DCC only supplied in the kit to help fill voids. Do not use standard silicon grease. Installation of the splice body. Position the splice body so that the silicone body's edge is aligned with the marking tape. Release the spiral holdout by pulling counterclockwise while holding the splice body in place. The spiral holdout cannot be pulled out all at once. Slowly pull the spiral holdout on top of the cable and then pass it around and underneath the cable until the spiral has been completely removed. Important: The splice body must remain aligned with the marking tape while the spiral holdout is released. Once the splice is partially shrunk adjacent to the marking tape, there is no need to hold the splice. Use two hands at this point to remove the remaining spiral holdout. Install the shielding mesh. Remove the temporary PVC tape holding the neutral wires in place and bend back as shown. Wrap a half-lapped layer of the copper mesh across the entire splice and tie it off. Starting from one side, wrap over the cable semicon just after the jacket cutback, ending on the other side of the semicon of the cable as shown. Lay out the neutral wires. 
twist neutral wires together and splice with suitable connectors. Notice the connector should not rest on splice body. Neatly lay all the neutral wires evenly spaced over the splice body. Bind the wires to the splice with vinyl tape. Clean cable jackets. Abrade and solvent clean the cable jackets as shown to provide an oil-free surface. Add second wrap of mesh over neutrals. Wrap a half-lapped layer of the copper mesh across the entire splice over the first layer previously installed and tie off. Install GMRS rejacketing sleeve. Remove the release paper from the gray mastic on each end of the sleeve. Use the supplied TE wet solvent wipe to wet the GMRS closure sleeve for easier installation. To apply, wipe the gray mastic strips to coat the surface. Recessed areas of corrugations or other grooves do not require lubricant. Wet the front rounded part of the latch and the back side of both latches to aid in the installation. Center the GMRS sleeve under the splice. Wrap the GMRS sleeve around the splice and secure it using the two pre-latch clips provided to help hold the sleeve in place. Starting at one end of the sleeve, manually close the latches together. Once the latches have been closed, slide the installation tool along the latches. Feed the latch rails into the installation snap tool and push forward. The tool will snap the latches together as it is moved across the splice. Remove the pre-latch clips as the installation snap tool moves along the latch. Notice, flap must not pinch or kink between layers. Inspect the latch to make sure all areas are engaged. If any locations along the latch are unengaged, then close them by hand or you can use pliers to engage. Install guides and tie wraps. Install tie wrap guides on top of the channel. Install two tie wraps at each end as shown per spacing. Then trim the tie wraps with snips. Installation is complete.